Hey there guys, today's video I'm going to be fixing this UPS. I got this UPS for free as it wasn't working and I think the issue was the batteries as I pulled out the old batteries and they were all swollen up and uh, I think they leaked a little bit. So I'm thinking that's the problem as this looks to be a fairly new unit and it's in pretty good shape other than some cosmetic damage on the side, just some scrapes. I believe this one is good for 12 amps if I remember correctly. 12 amps and it is an APC model smart UPS C 1500 1500 watts would make sense so I can power this up and show you what it does right now and hopefully we can get this corrected by changing the batteries So you see we are flashing battery, that battery with some X through it. You can see we don't have any load on it. And uh, we scroll through, volt 119 in. Zero minutes because they've got no batteries in it. Load zero watts, load percentage nothing. VA nothing, output nothing. I think that acknowledges it, no? Okay, there, that shuts the beeper off, but I'd like to leave that on. So, uh, yeah, no batteries. I'm not sure why the fault light's not on when we don't have batteries, but maybe that only lights up for other faults. Anyways, let's unplug this and uh, open it up and put new batteries in. Got these batteries on Amazon, could have gone to the local battery shop, but I kept forgetting, so every time I remembered I was at home, so I was like, okay, I'll just order some. They are $50 per battery, but I got four for $170, so that saves a little bit of money, which I got four since I needed two new batteries for the fire alarm system anyways. It just made more sense to just buy four. This one, oddly enough, to me at least, oddly takes 12 volt, 12 amp hour, which I'm familiar with most of these 1500 watt UPSs that are this similar size to take 18 amp hour batteries. 12 volt, two of those, so that seemed a little odd to me. Um, these are 18 amp hour. I have them charging on this fire line panel here. But these are what I'm usually familiar with this size of UPS taking, not 12 amp hour ones, but that's what I pulled out of it, so that's what I ordered to go back in. Anyways, let's break into this thing and replace the batteries and see if we can get her going. If not, doesn't owe me anything, I got it for free, so uh, we'll see. I find it's fairly common to be able to get UPSs for free or a good price because people just don't know or do, I just don't know how or I don't know why people don't change the batteries to be honest, but we'll see if we can get it going. So I already took the old batteries out. That's why there's none in here. But we will open up these new ones. Hopefully the connectors fit. Uh, we'll see. Might have to chop them off and add different ones. We'll have to see. Okay, we'll pull off anti-short things. Okay, and how were these before? I guess like that. So first of all, we will need to install... How did they have these in here before? Oh, they had them this way. Okay, that makes more sense. Which is okay. You can see our positive is way longer, so I'm guessing they had them the other way on this side. Like this. So this guy needs to put it's a 70 amp fuse. That'll go from positive 
to negative, and that does indeed actually fit, which is good. Negative on here. Positive on there. It had a little spark, but wire's cool. So I think we're all good. I think it's fine. Sometimes you get a little sparky spark. Now 170. The AD85. So if we can get this UPS going for $85, that would be that'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Let's plug this in, see if it's happier. See if it blows up anything cool like that. Okay, that looks good. We are showing 119 volts and full battery. Um, I guess we could try to plug something into it and test it. Unless can we run a test on here? Nope, that, that turned it off. I'm not sure if this one has a test button. Estimated runtime, almost 300 minutes. Oh, there it's testing itself. Okay, I guess that was it for the test. You could hear it testing itself there. I will label that we put a new battery in. I already have this all set up from when I did the fire alarm. July 2023, new battery. I know it's not that much of a good load test as this light bulb here is only probably nine watts, unless it's a higher, yeah, it's nine watts. But it should at least go to show if it's working. Output, it doesn't say one surge and one's not, so I'm guessing it's all one and uh, I'll turn off our lights in the building here so we can see how quickly this UPS clicks on unplug it there you see light barely even flickers so the UPS is now running on battery backup mode it's not plugged in which you really shouldn't do. You shouldn't actually power equipment without it being plugged in because then you lose your equipment ground too. Yet you're still putting out power. You can scroll through. In is zero volts. This will run this nine watt light bulb for 228 minutes. Battery's already depleted a little bit probably because we just put these batteries in. I think realistically it would go longer if they had time to charge. Not even registering the wattage, I guess it's too low. Outputs, 120 volt. Well, I've got an idea. Let's put in a 250 watt light bulb. Give it some real low man. How's this guy work here? Get rid of your tiny light bulb. This is a spare light bulb of what I used to heat the generator building with, big 250 watt. That should give it some, that should give it some real power. If this light bulb works, I've dropped it a few times. Oh, she's hot. That's a hot bulb. Whatever, if it burns the carpet, burns the carpet. You can see the load has gone up. The battery's gone down. 60 hertz on the button, that's good. 
estimated run times down to 20 minutes, 19 minutes. 225 watt, it's a 250 watt light bulb, about 234. 26% load, two amps. Yeah, sounds about right. It's a big light bulb. Like I said, I think our runtime would be much more if we hadn't have literally just put the batteries in. They need time to charge. I know when I put them in the fire alarm, they were at like 24, 25 volts, which are good batteries, more like um, the two together should be more like 27. But you can see it's running that big light bulb, even though the batteries were just put in it. If we plug the UPS back in, we should hear 50 watts, that's pretty big. There you go. I don't know if you can hear that, but it does have a fan that runs on the side. I'm guessing that just runs when it's on battery. Okay, I think we're we're gonna we're melting my carpet here. Put on the concrete. Oh I'm gonna make you work again. Uh it really broke off, didn't it? Well, that's stupid. Okay, well, that was enough of my test, I guess. Light bulb had had enough. That's what I could smell burning. It's because this thing was held together with tape. Ah, that's a hot bulb. Anyways, Nathan should be charging up now again. Well, I know that wasn't that good of a test since we literally just put batteries in the thing three minutes ago, so it needs more time to charge, but that does prove that it does at least work now so uh yeah that's good i think uh i'm happy with that i think what did i say 85 dollars to fix this thing i think that's uh pretty good i'm not sure how much this is worth but it's a fairly new one it's got it's got the nicer display on it than the old ones that just have the L actually i don't mind the leds leds are kind of cool since then you don't have to scroll through but whatever i'm not sure how old this thing is I don't think it's that old. Before plugging in the unit, I didn't read that. For 120 mol moles, plug the cord attached, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Do not power laser printers through the UPS. That sounds like a challenge. We should do that. Um, turn it on. No shit. Um, the battery charges 90% during the first four hours of normal operation. Do not expect full runtime during this initial charge period. Well, yeah, I knew that. I mean, I tried it anyways, but I that's why it went down so quick. Charges 90% during the first four hours. And then, okay, then it would slow down, I guess, after. Okay, that all makes sense. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this video of this UPS. I'll let it charge here for a while. And after that, I don't know what I'll do with it because I have a smaller UPS in the ceiling up there, but it's fine. It already runs for like two three hours all it's doing is that switch access points and four security cameras then i got one there that does this computer fine one back there that does the stereo but really the generator kicks on within 30 seconds so they only need to cover that time between i do have one similar size to this it's also rated at 1500 watts in the house doing all the wi-fi and fiber converter thing and all that stuff in the house switches which is good because the house isn't on generator so it may seem like an excessively big ups but it has to run at the whole power outage which we had like a four hour outage and it ran it the whole time it never started doing the fast beeping meaning it's about to die so i don't know that one seems good it's the same i think it's the same model as this it just did take the 18 amp hour batteries but other than that it's the same one it's just old and noisy so i could replace it with this one but it works so i don't know i don't know what i'll do with this one It'll sit on the floor until I decide. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Any comments, questions, feel free to put those down in the comments. And uh, if you do enjoy my channel, make sure to subscribe. Also, I do have an Instagram account at Pickle700 for bonus content and content posted earlier than you'd see it on the YouTube channel, that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, alrighty, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.